Look, I'm there. The boys have got me in colliery mode. Here. Yeah. I couldn't find that one up there. What I've just been looking for. Right, they're still digging, so to be fair, like, I might give up too soon and they might have found something. But I don't feel like I'm in the right spot. I feel like we're slightly off. So, this one's been on my list for a little bit. Um, Down here. I don't know if shorts and t-shirt on again. Right. I don't need that. Up there is the colliery. Um, the old coal mine. Um, so, I don't understand why it's actually got a walkway like this. This is just going to be some sort of aqueduct or finger. I'm not too sure what exactly they were using for it. Oh, I've been in geocaches there, look. I see them everywhere. A lot of spots I go to have got them geocaches. Um, I can't see too far up it, but I know that's where the thing is. Just bear with me, I'm just um, calibrating this fucking gas meter. There's not much point in me having it, mate. I'm not going to take it with me. Right, I don't actually want to get in this one now. I'll come back with it, lads. But I know I'm about... Let me have a look. I'm about 20, 30 feet away from the footprint of the colliery. So I need to get off up there and see what it is. I'm not actually too sure what this aqueduct type thing is for. I suppose this could be the way down into the mine, potentially. Um, I just know that the mine, uh, what's listed as the mine, is like 15, 20 feet out there. So, as long as the stuff says let's go, we're going. I don't get the wood there, the wood's nice. Um, that ceiling's a little bit to be desired here. Uh, well, that looks like some sort of um, old aqueduct type. Actually, some sort of wooden fucking sluice way. Oh, I can see finds already. People are going to get bang onto this one. I'm probably a bit slow on uptake on this one. But look, we get these in a lot of mines we go in. Obviously, the deal is if you find anything in your mine, you, um, you know what I mean? You tend to be balanced up like on a little noticeable spot somewhere near the, a doorway. Um, let's have a look over 
I'll go a bit further up there, it's just, my phone's just about to die. And uh, I don't mind a picture of that. How to be fair. footprints in it obviously the last one was a bit smaller than me that other thing has to be the way down into the mine um, this must have just been some sort of entrance something else to add up. I mean what's this is this just a block on the the surface. Oh, I don't understand. I don't understand if this is um like an attempt to block the tunnel or is this like a part somewhere near the surface. Um not too sure. this I could look know what's sat there but something sat on top of it gouge cut out gouge cut out um same there so to be honest it could be just some sort of strengthening um gouge I thought it was it's strange I've never seen one of these wooden um fingers in one before not that, especially with uh, big massive flagstones underneath it. It's, it's definitely an old colliery. Um, that's made a little pile bigger for them. And I start bringing a pen with me as well. I was just saying that geocache thing, what I spotted on the um, way in there I'll grab it for you anyway and I'll show you because to be honest some of you some of you probably don't even know what they are uh, I didn't know what they were to be fair until I think look this which is just tucked in the rocks hiding now the first one found in the, another video of the spider treasure tunnel um, and to be fair we, we, we were wondering what was going on here they had different stuff wrote on them Let's get a look at it. And obviously, we're not part of the gang. Oh, it's got a bee on it. Got a bee for both. 
Oh, if I got if I got another container in my bag, so it's here. I'm, I, I like to swap containers. I'm impressed with that. What's this? Oh. <laughs> Liam E Tommy L Burnley 6th of June I'm not going to read that bottom part because I don't want to get them in trouble uh, but I think I know who that is <laughs> nice so I wonder how many spots to put them at then so it's not a geocache. Like a geocache is pretty much exactly the same as this, except instead of some boys saying, oh, we're doing this, we're doing that, um, it will say coordinates or they, they do different things. I'm not 100% certain. Let's get a look which tunnel we want to go. Oh my God. Listen, I don't scare easy. But I, I, I hope you heard whatever that were then. Right. I'm... To be fair... It's deep water, deep water. What the hell is that? Um, right. I'm hearing noises I'm not comfortable with. Uh, nobody actually knows where I am. So I think I'm going to swerve this mission for now. But obviously I'm definitely going to come back and I know what this is 100% a colliery. Uh, so it was linked to a coal mine. It's, we're in Burnley. Um, so do you know what I mean? A few years are going to be interested to see what's down here. Some of you I know are already going to know where we are because um, I think they're in the group. Um, look at it. I don't know if it's coming off on camera, but it, the full arch tunnel is like gone. Bang! You know, like went off to an angle on that way. That wouldn't have been constructed like this. All this hillside on that side there must be pushing down this way, which is that's, that's probably not like a good thing. To be fair, um, I will get off up and down these tunnels. I think I know where this one goes. Um, this one, however, could potentially go somewhere we've been trying to get for quite a while. Because um, I've got a compass in my bag. I've checked. It does run on that direction. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to leave this one for now. Uh, I'll come back with boys and we'll get down the tunnels properly.